Hello, my name is Jonathan Armour. I've been a resident here at Southport for two years coming up this Christmas. And uh, I've been diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome, Autism, Dyspraxia and Dyscalculia. And I'm wanting to make this short film about a very important part of my life and uh, an enormous subculture of the world over in traditional gaming. Traditional gaming dates back to far, far into the early 60s in the America. It started with a war action game known as Chainmail, which is most famous for being the inspiration for Gary Gygax's first edition of the world-renowned Dungeons and Dragons. But what drove him to seek out this sort of aspect in his life, what made him want to go out and create this thing that he put into the world to share his vision for a fantasy that he had on presumably what was a rainy afternoon. My name is Cameron Mercer. I am 18 years old and I am currently a student at Rontrell University. Dungeons & Dragons is one of the best role-playing games in the world. My favourite game, definitely. I've been playing games, but D&D's just come in recently. My favourite character is definitely my rogue, because I get to run around being sneaky and assassinating people. I think everyone plays Dungeons & Dragons, really. I uh, don't actually know a specific group of people that I would exclude from playing it. Normally it's classified as nerds, but I don't think that's a actually correct specific. I believe that the confidence skills built up by DMing games has definitely assisted me in real life, like presentation skills and such. My name is Richard Armour. My current occupation is a student and I am currently 15 years old. To me personally, Dungeons and Dragons is a lot of things. A way of funneling imagination to imagine things, to be a hero. First, my, it took my eye when uh, I heard about uh, all this awesome fighting and this spell casting. My favourite character would be my character which I created. His name is Telemachus, currently. And what I like about him is uh, he's a dragon, it's pretty cool. First glance, D&D and this place in general can look a bit, little bit geeky. But, but once you take a second glance and have a look, have a proper look and get to know the people, you will find a very, very wonderful time. It's given my life a new sense of adventure, in a way. I'm Mark, I'm 29, and I'm a doctor. It's a, it's a role-playing game where I get to meet new people, um, spend time with old friends, um, having a bit of a laugh, uh, it's a bit of letting off some steam. So I first started playing D&D when I was about 16. Um, we had a, a little shop in the town I used to live in um, that had lots of uh, cool nerdy games and comics. Um, and I found a D&D starter set and I picked one up, played with some friends, enjoyed it, started playing some more, buying more books um, and we are all nerds to a man. Um, we, we range from people who are a little socially inept to those who are a little less socially inept. Um, but we can all sort of come together and enjoy a shared hobby. Um, and when the Dungeon Master calls time, 
you start rolling dice in anger, um, it's a level playing field and it doesn't matter how cool you are in the real world. If your level 8 paladin rolls a critical hit on that dragon, oof. I've done a lot of GMing, so I, I haven't played an awful lot of characters. Um, my favourite was probably a um, sorcerer in a an Eberron campaign, which is this sort of steampunk setting. Um, I was a really, really awkward teenager, and I was that end of the spectrum that was a bit antisocial and a little bit awkward and meeting up with friends, making new friends, develop my social skills at a time when they really needed developing. 